<laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch. I'm here with the homie Kai and brother Ooch. And we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Well, would you look at that? We might not all be in the same room, but damn it, we are in spirit. It's finally. It is finally happening. The trifecta is back again once again. The, I am with the boys. Brother Uj and Kai, how are y'all doing today? I'm chilling. Um, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Listen, I, 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 think, I think we have a lot to talk about here. I'm sure we will have a lot to talk about because there's been some things that uh, that we've been, we've been going over. So Kai came back last week, so... It's definitely great to have Kai back again once again. Brother Uchi you took a week off because you know you're you're on your your comp shit again with Call of Duty. So how's that going by the way, actually? It's not bad. Um team's pretty good. Uh we're like I would say top sixty four contenders like mm -hmm. placement wise, but we have to still do the Challengers Cup to actually um like be solidified with the top 64 like i i feel okay. like we're good enough basically to be top 64 that's why i say we're toxic top 64 <laughs> if that makes mm. sense but because we didn't do it last week because i was working i think the other two two of my other teammates were busy but um we're gonna i believe we're gonna try to do it this week and on saturday so hopefully that goes well yeah okay all right small shit Okay, so you see the, you see this dude, man, Kai, right now, bro? This guy, he's out here with his freaking CO Dizzle out here. I mean, yeah. Someone's <laughs> got to do it. <laughs> Some, yeah, right? <laughs> Someone has to freaking do it. Uh, but, but Kai, it's been a week since, of course, we were catching up and talking about everything that you wanted to uh, bring up from what brandon and i was talking about for the like previous six weeks uh prior to that and then i remember the one of the things that we we had to stop from last week talking about was you had you had brought up sword art <laughs> yes <laughs> so i thought to myself i was like all right well that could be that could definitely be something that we could all talk about because I know I know uh I think it definitely Brandon's watched more sword art than I have. Yeah. I've I've kept up. For the most okay. part. Okay. Yeah, and and Kai is our resident sword art expert, considering that I think he's watched the most the, he yo, he told me last week on the episode that they came out with a new movie. Did you know that, Brandon? No. Yeah. <laughs> I told yeah, I figured. Um so yeah, I figured we'd talk a little bit about that, see what's going on. Um, but let's uh I feel like I figured we get the whatever Dragon Ball discussion out the way first and foremost, go off of that because I, we have one one comment here outside of people saying first, second, you know, on the <laughs> on the YouTube comics. Yeah, you know how people are in the YouTube comments, man, when, you know, you upload a video and they just like being first, so they just type first. <laughs> yeah, so can't get any, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's what it is. <laughs> That's what, uh, people like, people like doing that, and it's cool, but, um, but yeah, so this person really, really quick right here, they said, uh, what about Super Saiyan 3? granola hairs after wish i think you forgot about it so i don't know what i don't know exactly what that was in reference to in regards to granola i'm oh you know what i think i think okay i think this was when we were talking about how when they were wished to be the strongest in the universe yeah, and yeah, when gas hair grew well, yeah, Granola's hair did grow a little bit, but it wasn't not some Super Saiyan 3 shit, was it? I don't know. I, Even listen. then, only hair, like... He didn't grow up like himself? Uh, right, like, he didn't... Like, like Gas is who... He really took on a whole form change, everything. 
Like my man went from he went from toddler to adult with the size at least of of you know his frame and everything. Like he he, he had the instant bowflex equipped. <laughs> so and then like you said, he went down he went down to the 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 Bahamas and stuff or whatever. Jamaica, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And he got his his nice dreads and stuff, but but yeah, with granola though, nah. He listen. If he was if he if he had Super Saiyan three hair, you would have heard it here first. You would have definitely heard it out of me, okay? Cause you definitely would heard it out of freaking brother Uskas. Freaking Super Saiyan three is still one of the our favorite forms of all time, easily. I'm honestly not a fan of it. Yeah, I know you told. I, I know you said that to me before. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no. I, mean. I think it's I I personally think it's one of the it's one it's it's so iconic. It came with the music and it it is forever goaded. It just sucks that it wasn't used enough or Yeah, not nah, the, the electricity is like around the aura. It, that that's what mm. hit for me, honestly. But but plus uh -huh. the hair, I would say exactly everything Dude, was good about it in my eyes freaking you can't beat that shit like long ass hair freaking sparkles yeah yeah even even super saiyan 2 is kind of dope just because of the, super... the 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 electricity or sparkles <laughs> as you'll mm -hmm. say but but yeah no, i fucked with super saiyan 3 just because it was different like yeah hairstyle and yeah mm -hmm. shit was good my favorite was definitely four. Free. Yeah, Super Saiyan four. <laughs> yeah, that shit different. That that shit hit different. Bro. It's not canon though, so yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> not canon. Don't count. Yo, we're not we're not even ten minutes in. We we starting like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. Let me see it. Let me see it. But well, you we are we we are seeing it. We we're, we're about to see it. You think, I'm, uh, dude? I'm telling you, I talked about we, yo. Kai and I went in last week. Did you did you did you listen to the last week's episode? Nah. Okay. Let me let me let me debrief really quick. I was breaking it down yet again for the good folks listening at home across the world, and for Kai. And when you just give me too much. Too much hints, and you just leaving all these crumbs on the fucking floor. Like, yo, it's not even leaving crumbs, dude. I want you to imagine this. You know how you, people leave crumbs, they leave a trail. No, 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 no. Toriyama, what he's doing? He's leaving full meals with a plate, the fork, the knife, and 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 the and the cover top, so it don't get dirty. He's leaving meals. Wait, so was this <laughs> like? Was this the next chapter or whatever, right? And no, no, no. The next chapter's not out yet, but this is prediction. This is speculation, okay? Because you already know, okay, from just watching Broly. You've seen what Broly did. You've seen how fucking strong he was. And you've seen how I mean, we this talked dude... about that, yeah. Yeah, okay. We talked about it millions of times already, right? So you already know. So my thing is... If we're to, we're referencing the the Bardock gas fight, like that they had forty years ago, and if Gas is already known to be like a strong fighter, and he's supposed to be like OD in his own right, and Vegeta was already writing Bardock off as a low class warrior, like how could he, like how how did he win or whatever? And then the second, uh, Manito the Namekian that was telling the story. The second this freaking dude was about to say, actually, on the contrary, and then they got distracted and the scene changed, they're clearly trying to hide something. And 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 I mm -hmm. talked to you. I remember talking to you about this too because that was when we were saying, like, oh, is he gonna go Super Saiyan? And I'm like, no, it has to be more than that. It, ha it literally has to be more than that. It has to be something that hasn't been seen yet, hasn't been, you know, anything. And the fact that Bardock, even during that fight, he still has his tail. Who is to say that this is not this guy is not the first one to do it? Primal Instinct. Whether they call it that or not, whether they call it Super <laughs> Obviously, they're not gonna call it Super Saiyan 4, because back then, Super Saiyan was only something of legend. Is what they said 
in legends, you know? Yeah. They, 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 sh- they basically that, so, tried writing it off like as like um, like practically non-existent in a sense. Exactly. Like a so that that's what I'm saying. That's why if 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 he's able to fight gas and he's gonna power himself up and he has a and he has a tail, right? Because I feel like I feel like if people I mean who knows because that planet they were able to transform into apes like when they was there so i'm pretty sure there's like moons around it is there not or you know i don't know too much even if there aren't they could make one exactly they make the fake johns and you know when you think about it like that bro if they could just make artificial fucking moons just so that they could pop the ape what makes you think that they can't just pop that shit free off rip (laughs) <laughs> right you know you know what i'm I saying know, bro. like like i don't know we're not too deep into that shit yet honestly with the like whether they can transform without the moon you feel me like i don't know if that would no. ever be a thing necessarily but first they obviously have to introduce like i guess transforming outside of the eight form like with the moon you know like they would have to introduce it like with the moon first and then if they want to go deeper into it and be like oh i want to tr- whoever whoever does it necessarily first whether it's goku vegeta or somebody with a tail they'll be like okay now now let's try and transform without the moon type of thing like i don't even know i don't know if it'll get that far but so but okay i got you right now so what if what if that whole idea right the concept like oh okay like what's this new ruling now because this whole convoluted game of Yu-Gi-Oh is getting tiring okay and i and i have just about an explanation for anything when it comes to this whole situation right now so just like you said how we need to see them do it with with that with the moon and all that stuff we've seen that already go back to freaking Dragon Ball Z go back to Vegeta versus Goku this man did that shit there okay that's how we've seen that shit artificial moon obviously we haven't i don't think we've seen one since to be honest like that was like the last time we ever saw like grade eight well yo if we're if we're gonna utilize gt here in any type of way like no i'm not even talking gt i I know but like if we're if we're going to implement gt into this shit and just say like okay once they achieve ape form and then they have that self-control to transform and into primal instinct or Super Saiyan 4, whichever one you want to call it, then once they reach that state, it's like the moon is negated. Like, you don't need that shit no more to uh, necessarily transform into Primal Instinct, I'll say, or or, uh, Super Saiyan 4. Because in GT, like, once Goku hit that state, like, he never went ape form necessarily. He just went straight to Super Saiyan 4 without moon presence. So, if they want to stick with that logic, I mean, I don't think it really matters necessarily. Because then... At that point, it's like they're one with themselves, you know, like with the with the ape or the, the what's it called? What do they call it? Ozaru. Or Ozaru. Yeah, they're one with the Ozaru, and it'll it'll a lot like once they already pass that that state to where they have control of the Ozaru within them and everything, and they can use its power to its fullest to transform into that shit. Then they don't need no moon, honestly. But listen here, I'm gonna give you the logic right now, okay? Because again with the broly example man's had no tail okay i feel like if he did he would have he 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 would have been the the first one on screen to have gone into like an actual what a what a real super saiyan should is you know because they're going from like they're they're pretty much forcing their way through to that point because i feel like if you want to break it down with any kind of like logistics if you want to activate if you want to bring about the great ape form the power the state and you 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 look up to the moon or you make your own and that's how you activate that shit and that's how you that's that's like the cheat code that is the same cheat code to unlocking that kind of power but then if you reach a point where your back is against the wall and you're going through shit and you're clearly a saiyan and you're clearly a warrior and you've been growing with whatever however many fights you've already had just like all the saiyans are 
and some sh some crazy shit happens and you gotta it, it, it's do or die and there's no moon and you have a tail i think at this point this is how the next stage would essentially be unlocked so that is how i feel like they would access that shit altogether and and then you know you can assume that that would be stronger than a than a than a great ape because it's basically like a saiyan embodying the full strength potential everything that a great ape would and then some in this humanoid saiyan body that that's that's why i think it's gonna happen i i really think that's gonna happen and it, it's like i said they clearly it's not gonna be called super saiyan 4 no more that name is gonna get retconned whether it's primal instinct or whether it's a primal saiyan or like something brand new that shit is going to look they're gonna have the fur they're gonna have the dope ass mm. hair they might have the freaking eyeliner and they're pro they might have the yellow eyes okay yellow and that's just gonna dumb. look crazy exactly is is it, it, gonna look od i don't oh. it's just gonna have to see bro i don't know <laughs> Kai, you gonna say something? It's too good. We're not getting it, bro. <laughs> yo, see, yo. <laughs> oh, we're not getting it. <laughs> he... It's too good to be true. It fits too well. It's too easy. It would be fire as hell. Then they're not gonna do it. You see, they would. They would really have to come up with something out of their fucking ass to actually explain that shit. Like the whole scene but with I just Bardock. It. I, no, I they know. Wouldn't. No, no, because like, like with the whole Bardock and Gas shit, like. Like, we would need hella detail to really confirm that whole transformation. Even though it does make sense that's the only way Bardock low-key could beat Gas, especially at that time, because he was stated as a low-class warrior. Like, of course he's gonna need that extra boost of power that a San, like, always has behind them. Like, you know? So, like, the whole ape transformation and then, like, him, like, being, like, I don't know, I don't, like self-aware and shit like that to fucking transform into what super saiyan 4 like i don't know bro. that's just nah i think like i don't know man i think i think the opposite i think that it's it's easy for them to fit it in and like uchi already kind of explained how it would like slide in anyway into the you know into the canon but mm. either way this is fucking Dragon Ball. They can say whatever the hell they want to. They can hit us Absolutely. with the actually. This is how it works. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Fuck your logic. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> they don't actually care if it fits in or not. They'll make it fit in. The problem is exactly. it's too good to be true. That's why it's not gonna happen. Yeah, conceptually, my theory, it does make it. it, it, it I mean, it makes. The fact that I have to say it makes too much sense is sad. You see, because... I think I said that last week. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes. It, it all makes sense, but then it's like, how the fuck did he he die of Frieza if he well, reached that, yeah, that, that state? Yeah. Like, that's the the next big question, well, obviously. Wasn't weren't we discussing at some point that um the this could have happened like right. Like, this whole event with Gas could have happened, and then as soon as he took off from that planet, he went back and then, you know, got destroyed while he was exhausted. Yeah, yeah so pretty mm. much, yeah, mm. yeah, I do remember talking about mm. that. So, also, think about this, Brandon. Think about it like this. Whenever Saiyans learn some new shit, they need time yeah, they to really time. hone it. You're yeah. right, so, like, you're yeah, right. Yeah, they so need to he's... transform, like, three times before they got that shit <laughs> solid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, yes. but it's like shit bro like i don't know because like because like <laughs> even with goku bro like he this man i mean he needs he needed time for ultra instinct obviously but he still he still he did still it multiple times time. he did it multiple times against jiren when he had to because he would have fucking died yeah, like, but look what happened. Yeah, but look at the experiences Goku's been through. Like Bardock ain't have those experiences. Yeah, I, I feel right. that. I feel that. Right. But you would, it's, but you would so think, different. you would think with the with Frieza about to destroy the planet, and shit, he would get that spark, like that last spark of energy to tr like to transform. He did. He like threw that. it at him. Oh yeah, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like exactly. Yeah, but. 
I don't know, we're just gonna have yes, to so. wait, man. See if they actually. I want it. I'm I'm here for the I'm here for the Super Saiyan instinct. I'm I'm ready for it. I mean, it'll definitely be some some fresh cool shit. Cause then it'll we'll we'll see if the tail actually comes back within like Goku and Vegeta in a sense. I would like to see their tails come back if if that's the direction it might go to. I don't but, think they would touch uh, Goku or Vegeta's designs. Yeah, that would be dope though. <laughs> You know, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them if 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 that was if, if if this was the direction that they were gonna uh you know kind of take, then I could see it happening. But here's another thing though. At the same time, I'm not all too sure about them. like like I, yeah, I'm not really sure about them necessarily doing it. I mean, I would have to. There would have to be some time that would pass. It would have to take place during another arc because I think this is also something that I've definitely brought up before in a previous episode at some point. But I talked about how the only way they could continue to use Goku and Vegeta in the way that they have been is if they are able to still write compelling enough villains or a compelling of enough of a story for them to... You know to, for them to even be justified in those situations to be the front runners in that regard because like with them now having ultra instinct and ultra ego respectively and they're literally already fighting the quote-unquote strongest in the universe after this it's like okay well where could they go they could go ahead and fight gods they could even make an exception for the angels to start getting you know th to start throwing hands to really show you how freaking strong they actually are right aside from that i said this where they'd have to make a foe that any god kind of power angel power whatever it is all those types of techniques that are accessed through the those higher beings would be null and void like against them so then that means that they would it would force goku and vegeta to have to rely on their natural power of their saiyan race like their roots they're deep 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 within and that's the only way that i could see them ever even entertaining the idea of pulling their tails back out or regrowing them or whatever the fucking case is i feel like we talked about that shit before. i guess we, we have yeah. we definitely have this is a conversation that i know we've had i i don't i'm pretty sure it had it was on the podcast that i've mentioned this maybe and i don't know when exactly but i mean this is this you know this is also this also comes with the territory of you know the dragon ball altogether is like we're gonna get we're gonna eventually get to the point where we're gonna be talking in circles or having repeat conversations <laughs> about this and that and what could have been or what should be or what might end up happening because like but those kind of conversations will always circulate if we're gonna continue to have goku and vegeta in the top spots Whoa. if they if they if they take the bench then we can start having some new conversations, but that's all on them. Yeah, I mean, honestly, fuck all the tail shit, cause like, uh, like they don't necessarily need the tail to access their Ozaru state, if you know what I mean. Like, like, cause I feel like, I feel like the the talk about the Ozaru within Vegeta and Goku necessarily like has been lost, and even Vegeta doesn't like he doesn't hint at it at all anymore type of thing. So, like. It, they would have to be re like they would have to remember about that shit and try to access their ozaru state with even without their tail like because it's going to be within them anyway and we kind of seen that with goku ultra instinct right like the one time when he was like kind of out of control when he first did it because like we heard the ozaru roar or some oh, shit right? the roar. oh yeah yeah so know, like i you totally know, forgot about that so like like they would really have to I don't know how the topic would be brought back up, like within the anime itself, to so Goku and Vegeta can actually think about that shit to, to you know, 
access more power through through the Ozaru um, and be one with it. But yeah, I mean, they don't necessarily need the tail because Broly don't need it, even though he's not fully aware when the Ozaru takes over, in a sense. Broly like, is an Ozaru. Facts. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> yeah. So like that is so true. Yeah, but it, like what me and Ryan were talking about before, like he's not in control, like especially when like that shit, like it's like as the fight goes on and he gets like more angry and everything like that, like and he actually loses control, especially when he's in like a Super Saiyan form. Um, then, like yeah, those are hundred percent like takes over. I think personally, because like he's okay. he's like he's like himself like. He's like he he's like a normal kind of person like when he's not in Super Saiyan if that makes sense I feel like but then mm -hmm. like because in the movie when he when he transformed into Super Saiyan at that point he was he was done he was out of control <laughs> he was done he but was before done. before <laughs> then before then like before his father died right like he was in control I would say even though he, he was gaining power throughout the fight regardless. Yeah. But once he transformed into Super Saiyan, it was done. Like, GG's. <laughs> so, like, he, yeah, like, I mean. But here's I the know. thing, right? I, okay, so to that, my explanation to even back why those things happened, and I, and this, this, I feel like goes back to, I can't remember if it was a conversation I had with Kai, if it was I had a conversation with you but i believe that this kind of stems back to there being multiple paths of power when it comes to these freaking saiyans right and i think that now talking and hearing you say all that this really this this definitely finites and cements this idea that i have okay because I feel like the tail of a Saiyan is essentially like not just a cheat code, but that is that is like their um it's almost like their access point to what is already naturally a part of their being. And it is like a key and and it, get, it grants them easier access to navigate towards this this point of power. And I'm obviously for that, I'm talking about the Ozar, the great ape. But, mm -hmm. and it's funny you say that when Goku went Ultra Instinct in the Tournament of Power and he had that roar, it was very reminiscent to the great ape, which kind of insinuates that deep within, they still have that in there. That's but you I'm see saying. what I'm, but you see what I mean is that look how far deep within themselves that shit is. Okay, like it's almost like this shit is on some Naruto ceiling and like there's they, like it's like without the tail, they have to like they have to go through some crazy means to just fucking actually bring it out. I feel and like it's that's super why, suppressed, bro. Like that. But like... that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like that source of power is what truly on some crazy levels of shit that they're not even realizing right now. Yeah, and it's think kinda, about it's it. Kind of funny though, because like, in in within the form of Ultra Instinct, isn't isn't the whole like ordeal, like with that power, like it's about being fully aware, right? Like, like all all one type of thing. You feel know I me? Mean? It's it is it is the Bruce yeah, Lee Bruce shit. Lee, the Bruce Lee shit. So like. I don't I don't know if that form is the gateway to access Ozaru like within them since they don't have a tail necessarily or you know but like I mean it could it could hint that way because we just because we saw that one scene that's all we need to see like when Goku roared like essentially in in Ultra Instinct in the beginning and this is when he wasn't even like he didn't have the full power of Ultra Instinct it was like it was literally the first stage like it wasn't full ultra instinct like with white hair or whatever you know what i'm talking about that is pretty crazy so like if you never mentioned that i would have i would have totally forgotten about that <laughs> yeah nah that's just that's just a moment <laughs> but but i don't know like i don't know how they're kind of gonna do it but 
Like if if that's the real way to for them to kind of access it. Yeah. Because if, if how, they, I don't know. What are you saying? How me? how sick would you be if uh, if they revealed that it was just another color? Man, listen. <laughs> I would first of all. Ah, uh, I would. First of all, I'd be like, "Damn, Kai, you were right. It was. It just made too much sense that they did. They did. They purposefully <laughs> just had to fuck it up. <laughs> like, like Barda goes Super Saiyan Orange or some bullshit like that. Like, <laughs> oh my god, man. Bruh. Now, see, that's how you. That is how you truly just Super Super Saiyan Brown for the Ozaru. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Ugly ass shit. Right. Just, uh, fucking no. See, that's that's the that's the type of shit that'll actually get me upset. <laughs> because it for so many reasons, you know, just for the simple reason that we should know better, for one, right? Because we tell ourselves this all the time to not think too much of it, right? To to not think too into it, because then what's gonna end up happening is the opposite or something that lines up with it but it's not exactly what it is and it's not gonna be as good and we're just gonna be dwelling on the what it could have been which would have been a hundred times better and unfortunately yeah so that is a very real uh, scenario that could happen yeah it, it really is and that's unfortunate as hell but here we are and mm -hmm. I, I have two questions to stem off of this one um mm. if it's if it's not a new color and it's not the super saiyan 4 what do you think it like wh what else could they do with this that's what i'm saying bro like i'm too deep into my own theory that i can't i can't unsee it I can I can I can't see it being anything else. Like, sure, they could introduce something completely new. They could introduce someone like coming in and saving Bardock at that moment, some new character head ass that we're not gonna see until <laughs> the next fight. Nah, they can't do that shit because freaking Manito already explained it like within his tease that Bardock handled himself. So if this guy fucking blinked and that happened then wow that is stupid like wh like oh here comes here comes uh what's his face um uh here comes yamoshi to the rescue finally right. after here comes you know, yamoshi freaking manito blinks yamoshi is the actual one that defeated gas and he dips and it looked like bardock <laughs> did it the entire time and this guy manito has had a lie in his head for 40 years and he, he's miss telling the fucking story to everyone else and here we go the actual super saiyan god of legend was just he's still around he's just nowhere to be seen ever again like nice nice <laughs> other than that i like if it was something new I would call bullshit on that too because I'd just be like, why? Like, how, what, what other, what n more new could you possibly do? Like, like, here, here's the thing the only kind of new transformations, power ups that you should ever expect to see is from characters that are new to the, that are new to the scenario or that never had something before. Like, see, that that right there what you just said characters that have never had something before that's why i don't think they would give the super saiyan 4 look alike to broly because he already has green and makes green bardock doesn't have shit he has his tail though that's the thing i mean that's, that th that's is the, the big other thing, thing. <laughs> dude that is that is the the that is that i i truly feel like this is that's what's gonna make the biggest difference because had Paragus never sh cut that shit off, they would have been fucked. That movie would have went so differently. They would have had to... <laughs> they, they honestly would have had to have fused a lot sooner if they even got the chance. They probably would have had to dip a lot sooner Jeez. than, you know... Like, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, the fact that they wrote this dude without a tail for a specific reason... The fact that Bardock 
obviously still has his and is up against a guy that they're currently fighting in the present time granted he was wished to be the strongest in the universe but you know i i'm i'm pretty faithful and confident that even 40 years prior that this dude like i was already saying i'm like yo this dude gas looks like he is like a threat like he just has that energy about him that he's gonna fuck up some people or he can and i i feel like he do he totally could have back then too against bardock but you know that's it remain it still remains to be seen we we literally have another like week literally i'm pretty sure a week to the next chapter comes out and hopefully hopefully we will see that um in the next chapter because they're they, they're they're pretty good with uh with telling like with with giving us um what do you call it with, 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 with giving us a little bit of everything like some backstory and then some current shit at the same time so those are my answers to your question your two questions All right. but outside of that dude like i'm gonna be really upset if it doesn't happen i'll tell you that <laughs> right now it's just it's just just too good i have no it. expectations so i can't be upset here you, it's... you can't have expectations it's fucking dragon ball <laughs> <laughs> you really can't because like that's why I, that's why i tell ryan all the time i'm like we have all these predictions and shit where in routes where it could go we just have to see now like no expectations see what route they take and then that that brings obviously more predictions or or possibilities yeah. that we yeah. can come up with there you know yeah that's like, true that is that, true that's how you have to think about dragon ball because these motherfuckers they just do whatever they kind of <laughs> want in a sense yeah oh my god <laughs> they're killing me man <laughs> this shit. Same. Sometimes, no, never, never, let me not. <laughs> I was about to just be like, sometimes I wish I was like one of these fucking fraud ass fans that just be saying some Super Dragon Ball heroes head ass ideas, like, oh yeah, like Vegeta goes Ultra Instinct and Goten and Trunks come out of nowhere. I shut the fuck up. <laughs> nah, we just gotta see. We gotta see Super Saiyan Four mixed with All Fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, okay, Brandon. We last week we was making this shit, this, <laughs> this fucking joke that Goku's <laughs> Goku's next power up after Ultra Instinct, he's just gonna turn into All Might. What? Uh, yeah, if you look at the thumbnail, it's actually kind of funny. It's just like, there's one where I literally just put all my head on top of his Ultra Instinct, and then the <laughs> other side is literally just like Goku drawn like all my. It's really funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much all the Dragon Ball stuff I have for this week. Um, aside from a topic that I'm still holding on to for our guest for next week, because, uh, they specifically requested to speak about this with y'all. Wait, what topic? Um, it's okay. I get, all right. So I'll, I'll bring up the topic now. I just, I, I have to be careful because I don't want it to, I don't want it to start now. Fuck you know what I'm saying? Tell me to be okay. shut down shut yeah. down he so this person wants to talk about gohan <laughs> oh my you're, god you already fucking got me there man <laughs> ah, see oh uh, this is gonna be a good one gohan. Is it? <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm ready to shut yeah. it down <laughs> yeah. they want to talk about gohan so gohan that'll be uh next week man, yo, i can't go home bro Ultra disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's all I'm gonna say because if I say anything more, it'll that's fine. That'll you be a, another half hour right here. So, 
um but yeah other than that we're gonna go right into this uh sword art this sword art gonna give you guys a little bit extra outside of dragon ball because you know that's that's something recent so here we go we got some uh sword art discussion to go in head to thewaypro.com and use my code ushi10 to save 10 percent off the entire website what's going on with that so yeah kai tell 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 brother Ush what you told me last week i don't remember what i specifically told you last week what what were we talking about other than the fact that the movie came out yeah the movie about the movie how uh the 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 perspective and all that stuff yeah and, and when it takes place yeah so a lot of people are worried that um <clears throat> you know sword art is a show that's very easy to fall off of because it definitely got slow in uh some of its later moments but i believe it did pick back up with its newer season but since it is so easy to fall off with people would be you know concerned about watching the movie you don't need to be because um you're not going to get spoiled or anything this quote-unquote new movie is new but um it's the very first i mean i guess first episode but first couple of episodes of you know sword art season one it's just retold through asuna's perspective so we get to see how she got into the game and who she was with and you know extra events that we didn't see in the first few episodes and how shit ties in together and it actually tied in really nicely i was surprised because that's the one thing that i was worried about but they did a really good job with this that's so brown what do you think about that that's interesting that's interesting okay um i mean i don't know if i finished the like the newer season or whatever the case may be like i because i'm i'm involved in it like i started it i think i think i hit like the double digit uh episodes or whatever but i stopped when they started like they took a little pause or some shit i think um, but yeah, all I, I they all, broke it into two parts. Yeah, all I remember, well, yeah, all I kind of remember right now, like from that whole season, and like Kirito is out of the picture, kind of like he, yeah, he's what? He's this this man is like he is unconscious. That, that <laughs> third what? season is fire, though. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's like don't get me wrong, it's good, but it's like. Kirito is not really like the main character at all. It's the it's the other bitch. It's yeah, fucking... it's Alice. <laughs> Alice. She's yeah. tough as fuck too. Yeah, no, she she's <laughs> tough. She's tough. Don't get me wrong, but I want Kirito. <laughs> like I, I miss that man. Well, but... Yeah, you gotta keep watching. And that that uh that season season three was broken up into two parts, and it did wrap up already. And it has a very it's very well written and um. It's graphic as hell, so uh, yeah, yeah, be yeah. aware of that. Uh, and yeah, I, th I think I think the ending was really fucking good too. Well, I'll be oh. the judge of that. By the, <laughs> by the way, on top of uh, on top of this um, new movie, right? It's called uh, yeah. so uh, Sword Art Online uh, Progressive or Progression. I forgot. I think it's Progressive, but um, they did tease, you know, that uh, end credits after credits scene. There's gonna be mm. another movie coming in 2022. So soon? Yep. Wow. I wonder how far they're gonna go with Sword Art, because I mean they keep they could keep making all these games and shit. Especially uh, don't they if you if you see the ending of season three, you'll see how much room they have for potential material. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So hold on, I got, I got a question though. I got a question, I got a question. Cause so okay when i was on my sword art kick forever ago this was probably like when that shit was like brand new like <laughs> like everyone was singing that shit fucking lisa shout outs anyway. yo seriously uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah sure was dope. like freaking the first season oh, okay so the first season is the obvious sword art online followed by elf Heem. that's all in season one Season two is Gun Gale. This is the third game. No, 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 no. This well, season season two wasn't Gun Gale. It was like it was a couple episodes, but the main bulk of season two was that uh that elf game. Yeah, the elf game. I remember that. A lot of people no, the, hate on the elf game. Elf game was like no, but okay, the, but like Gun Game was just meh. I didn't. I really didn't like the gun game. I thought the I thought the elf game wasn't as good as the first one where they were in oh, Ironcrad, yeah. but 100%. the elf game was definitely. I I liked it. I like the you know. I mean, it's still some fairy shit, but they they still made it look tough. 
yeah yeah they, they made it work the gun game was just whatever the next game after that which is like i, I believe the current season or whatever that's split into two i guess that that, that yeah, game is this, that game is this, good yeah it's not even a game it's yeah, just the it's, whole world yeah and literally. it's it's an ai world and it's scary as fuck to be honest yeah, and they're usually they're literally from what I remember, I'm pretty sure they're literally using Kirito as like, like he, the only reason he's a part of that is because of whatever happened in the last yes. game where he practically what like was about to die, and the the AI world or whatever was the only way he could regain, um, I guess his full consciousness or that's his way to heal his like brain cells or whatever. What the? Fuck? Yeah, it's it's yeah, on some dude, deep it's... level shit it's it's really intense but it's it's crazy it's good yeah and that, hold on yeah. hold, so well. they had so because like when i so elf heem that was a part of season one though yes it was like yeah yeah that's what i'm saying so okay so because i i just want to know the order right because it's so because because it's it's sword art it's elf heem it's gun gale mm -hmm. and then it's and then it's this ai shit that you guys are talking nah, about it's Gun Gale came second. No, I okay. Gun Gale, Gun Gale happened in season two, like like entitled season two because season one of Sword Art for the anime they fit two games in that one season. Yep, yep. But they did That's go in the Elf game twice. What? Yeah, they wait, go. Wait, they really? go they like, yeah, they in go, season two. They went back into the Elf game. Yeah, they go back and forth, Loki. What? <laughs> Cause, okay, yeah. okay, because I didn't know that. Because okay, because in 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 because I saw a little bit of Gun Gale. Like I saw a little bit of season two, but it, I didn't get far. I was like up to like season art, like episode six or some shit. Yeah. But I I don't even remember I'm, nothing. I'm, so I have to like yeah. I have to like freaking rewatch it. Because I remember all I remember was there's some guy that was like going around just <laughs> killing motherfuckers in the game. Yeah, bro. I'm pretty sure that was the gun, the gun one. It was. That's the gun one. It's Gun Gale online. Yeah, no, because like, I'm the the interesting thing about I think about the elf, the elf one was that I don't it, like it wasn't like a locked type of game where they were stuck. Like they went in and out. The gun game, they I'm pretty sure they were stuck. See, here's the thing. I didn't like the gun game because it seemed really out of place, especially you know it's sword art online. Fuck out of here. But, they still call it that shit. That's what because it's the name. It's like you know. Yeah. But but listen listen I. After watching, after watching all the material that's out there, you know, like I said, that ending was definitely good. And s season three, part two, I feel like it ties in a lot of missing factors. And I'm not going to say any of them, but I was really <laughs> surprised with how they were tied in because I was like, damn, I thought these were, you know, like random events, like random people, whatever. Like, nope. So this is OK, so. So season three, this is this is Alicization. Yeah. Yes. That's the good one. That's the good one. Okay. Yeah. So Alicization has two parts. Yeah. Yes, it does. And I haven't watched okay. the second part practically. So. Okay. All right. So okay. So I'm just getting my orders here. So it's Sword Art, Elfim, Gun Gale, and now Alicization Part One, Alicization Part Two. Yeah. And Pretty and that's all the anime. Yep. Right now. Well, there's other movies though too. There's one other movie, and it's like. I think it's like a side story movie. It's called uh, Ordinal Scale. Yes. It's where they have I like VR. They're like VR worlding the shit. <laughs> that was a good movie, but I don't think it has any place in the story. Or maybe it's just, you know, like one of those uh, things that's what, never mentioned. Why would, they, why would they filler sword art though? I don't know. I could be wrong, but it's it's not mentioned. It's not tied in and anywhere in the anime at all. That's fucked. Don't you don't you love when that fucking happens? That's that's why another reason to fuck with this new movie though. It's everything everybody wants to see. Everybody when you know like when Sword mm. Art was the hype is cause of fucking Aincrad and that's what they're bringing back to people. So they're gonna they're gonna get Lisa back in the booth to re sing it. Yes. Oh oh I'm in there. I gotta watch that shit for real. Bing bong yup. If they're <laughs> if they're really trying to work the nostalgia game, they're going to do that. I mean, she's, oh. you know, she's that person. Lisa is that girl, son. She's OD. Damn. Okay. Now, now I'm kind of hyped going back to Sword Art now. Yeah, no, it's so good. The, it's so uh, fucking Alice good. and Keith are literally like the duo, but yeah. she's literally taking care of them in this whole fucking arc. 
Yeah, Kirito uh, is asleep right now. Yeah, Kirito is nowhere wow. to be found, bro. Like, it's pretty sad. So, wait a minute. How, how, how many episodes is part one of Alicization? Uh, I don't remember if it was like 13 or 24, but it's the typical. Oh, shit. So, part two is like the same? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Damn. Okay, yeah, I mean... Yeah, no, when I figured out, when I was watching the whole Alicization shit, like, part one or whatever, and I saw Kirito mm -hmm. was out of the fucking... Oh. Out of his bag, I was, like, in the shitter, bro. Like, no <laughs> shot. Like... <laughs> like... No shot. Yeah, no, but I mean, I mean, it caught my attention, though, just because of all the action and the way the shit uh, moved. So, I mean, is what it part, is, I'll, I'll say. Part, uh, season three, part one has 24 episodes. Yep. season three part one okay yeah so i bring all that up right the order right because back to something you i think i think it was brandon that said it like how many fucking more things could they do and i think i guess since you don't know and i remember this the, all this shit is based off the light novels and there's from what i know there's like 12 or 13 and they're all different games so they have plenty to work to work off of. So I and but the th the funny thing is though I expected them to get through those games a lot faster because from what I'm hearing it's only it only sounds like they're on like the fifth game still. I don't even know. I don't <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like Sword Art is based off the off of the light novels and there's like twelve or thirteen and this was this is. This is going off knowledge back from when Sword Art, the original first season, was 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 the, was the hottest thing in anime at that time. So when I was all about it back then, that was when I found out. And I, I don't know if there's there's been more since, but I mean, you know, you know how that goes when something's popular. They they'll keep trying to fucking write it till it can't no more. <laughs> yeah. So that's dope though. Um that's that's cool. It's good to hear that uh Sword Art is is doing his thing. Yo, getting yo, that yo, uh, can we, Asuna. Can we talk about Boruto real fucking quick? These motherfuckers I mean, are on my fucking grinding my fucking gears, bro. Let me What happened? You. Nah, these my yo, how you gonna fuck up one thing, bro? Like that. <laughs> like these these motherfuckers I, you probably haven't been watching it, but I've been watching it, and these motherfuckers are really depressing my shit because they fucked up the one thing I wanted to personally see, right? Because they brought it back to the fucking the the this one, the the, the exam, right? The what are they oh, called? Oh, the tuning exams. Yeah, the yeah yeah tuning exams, whatever. Naruto yeah. like re re rebuffed it rebuffed it whatever the, whatever the word is right they he revived it, it yeah pretty much essentially so like these kids <laughs> these kids right they're, they're trying to get their what's the next rank in, in this shit it's like a they're trying to get tuning. tuning yeah right yeah so <laughs> the, right they have it set up pretty all right right so they have essentially the fight we all want to see is boruto and i believe his name is mitsuki Right, or oh, his, uh, the, the dude on their, his team. Yeah, yeah team yeah, yeah, seven. Yeah. And this is, mind you, this is episode two twenty seven. I don't wow. know what they were thinking, but they had they literally. Ah, yo, I knew they was gonna fuck up subconsciously oh, because no. they didn't even fight. Oh, <laughs> like how you gonna fuck up the main stage fight? Like they literally <laughs> had them go on. Uh, a hidden side mission Mitsuki and Boruto because um, Boruto's little sister or whatever like was involved in something her. yeah yeah he, she was involved in something with her little group and Boruto and Mitsuki <laughs> went to help them essentially and like it was some bullshit side mission moral of the story they didn't make it back on time to fight they got the, they both got disqualified <laughs> such a disappointment like bro Yo. I just I couldn't I couldn't watch it no more man I don't know. I don't know what episode it's, I'm gonna come back to watch the shit again, but I am fucking down <laughs> bad. Let me tell you. <laughs> like all, oh, like shit. I literally sat there, like waiting for this episode to come out because I wanted to see. <laughs> I wanted to see what the fight was gonna be about. I wanted to see the action, right? I watched all these other little niggas fight, in, <laughs> like ep episodes before, and bro, 
once I, I didn't even have to watch the episode to know that these motherfuckers didn't fight because I'm gonna read you some of the other the previous episodes. It was it was the Legend <laughs> of the Monster Cat. It was Inojin versus Hookie, whatever, right? Then it was Samurai versus Science. And then there's only one more fight. <laughs> and the, guess what the fucking episode is called? <laughs> Team 7 Last Mission. I already knew these motherfuckers God, fucked up because yo. they didn't even fight. It was a. It was literally... Wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was during the... It was literally after the Samurai vs. Science uh, fight or whatever. And the next episode was supposed to generally be uh, Boruto vs. Mitsuki. But obviously they didn't make it on time. So it got replaced with samurai vs science so i don't know bro they just they they really messing with me man i don't know man shit but i don't Kai, even know if they can you, even get their true need shit no nah, they're not gonna get that shit just like how they didn't get it back then either the only the, dude the only one who graduated was shikamaru back in the day yup realize realize that okay none of them graduated on screen for us to see and by the time naruto came back and ship it in most of them was fucking jonin's you know what's crazy I, i'm pretty sure them, i think I'm pretty, pretty sure shikamaru's son is getting tuning father like son father like son nope, yeah nope. <laughs> father like fucking son uh, you gotta love it i'm you know i it's funny because i haven't I haven't been watching, obviously, but I haven't even been reading either, which is weird because that shit comes out at the same time Dragon Ball Super comes out. So let me check out my Annie List app real quick because I'm, I'm actually curious as to how far I shouldn't be that far behind, but I am uh, definitely a few chapters behind. And it sounds like the anime is on its own shit again from what you're telling me because they're definitely not i don't know they're not I don't know what doing the no they're tuning exams doing. i don't know what the fuck they're doing anymore man they're, they're, now the next episode after that last that last mission bullshit it's it's now they're leaning into K kawaki's path to becoming a ninja so i don't even mind you i didn't not watch that after i was fucking in the shitter after that last episode because the the, they, they didn't they didn't they didn't execute correctly right so uh I don't know what direction they're going into at this point. Like, like it was actually getting good to my standards, like to my liking or whatever. At one point, uh -huh. it, this mind wow. you, this was before the tuning exam thing. And then once the tuning exam happened, I was like, all right, maybe, maybe they're gonna, they're gonna do some, do some good. Like, cause I mean, regular Naruto's tuning exam was fucking tough. Like that was <laughs> something to watch. This shit is soft. <laughs> Compared to that, like, bro, what am I watching? Kai, have you have you watched any of this, like, for no. like like Naruto or anything like that? No. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, nah, but, but that's just that's my little oh, beef with Boruto right now, man. I don't know. Like, oh my god! Like they were actually doing pretty <laughs> solid. They were actually doing solid, and then they just had to fuck it up. Is what it is, it's... though. It's, it's so funny how when I was telling you to get back on it for the longest time, you were neglecting a hard body because you were not trying to watch any of these bullshit episodes or any of the... Let's be real. They, they were... A lot of the episodes, some of them were shit, but some of them were literally episodes that if they never did them all these characters wouldn't never have gotten screen time so right, it was necessary right, 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 right. <laughs> fuck these niggas bro we don't care about that shit <laughs> we don't Yo. we don't need that side shit bro we want the main Dude. shit brandon you have to understand okay you have to understand in naruto think about why that show is goaded it's okay, goaded it was because they steered it in the right direction. No, 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 no. It was goaded for many reasons, and one of the reasons was character the characters got time. A lot of those characters, dude, li 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 take the main class, okay? Now we're talking Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, Lee, Neji, Tenten, Choji, uh, Shikamaru, um, uh, Kiba, Shino um 
If I'm missing anybody else, oh, Gara, Kankuro, Tamari. You see, you like, see, you see, I, yo, come on. Those, wait, 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 wait. All wait you got more characters? No, 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 no. All those characters, just to, just to name a quote unquote a few, right? You've realized out of all those characters, the majority of the people that I just listed, they all had time. They all got screen time. They all had development. You see, and they oh, and the story man. gave you reason to give a shit about them. Boruto had to do this in some way Listen, Boruto, in the anime. They took a shit on themselves because <laughs> they like bro naruto did it perfectly honestly because they like i feel like they actually constructed the best screen time for each individual character for as long as yeah. possible like in this shit boruto they are dragging it like the fillers they, bro you might as well just call them all fillers because no one cares oh, <laughs> like like God. at least in naruto like naruto Naruto and Boruto are completely different, like as far as the show. I feel like just, yes, just because oh, they, they, just because Naruto Naruto is literally the beginning of what it's what it is today. So like yes. Boruto honestly can't I feel like live up to Naruto expectations, just because no. just because of what Naruto has become plus Shippuden, like right. it all ties together perfectly. But yes, but. As far as what we're talking about with character development and, and the screen time shit, like Naruto, like had it hands down the best. Just because like Facts. they they knew when a new character came in, like of course they're gonna give that person screen time, whether it's through a fight or some side quest shit. But at least the side quest shit or the fight they're involved in <laughs> is important. Like in this yeah. Boruto shit, this god is literally filler. <laughs> like. like <laughs> Like it, that's why I literally, bro. I lit the reason why I even started watching Boruto again was because I fucking heard that they were finally getting into more action as far as reaching or or finding out more about uh Boruto's mark or whatever. And, that's what I was and, telling and, and, you. Yeah, Kawaki's, and bro, I literally skipped like a hundred episodes. Like I didn't. You thought I was gonna watch that shit? No. Like I knew it wasn't important. Like, and oh then, my God. yeah, no, like I, li I literally, I literally skipped all that bullshit and I, and yeah. I, and I caught up to the, the important shit that I wanted to see and watch and literally watched all those episodes that they'd actually executed pretty well. And then now they're back. Now they're back to life or whatever with this tuning exam shit. They fucked that shit up hard, I'm hard dead. body. And now I don't know what direction they're going into because now it's like, they have to kind of like fucking go full circle back to finding out more about the mark as far as Boruto and Kawaki are concerned since they dealt with it um mm. is it even is it it's not no spoiler I'm gonna just say this shit fucking it's not no spoiler <laughs> at this point if you didn't watch it you didn't watch it but like where Naruto is at in this stage like he, he lost his nine tails I don't give a fuck D nigga, that's just <laughs> if y'all haven't seen that shit yet y'all are lost but yeah no Naruto don't have the nine tails no more Oh, okay. Well, yeah, no, I read that in the manga. Yeah, so. they so basically, like, Naruto's useless. <laughs> Boruto, they still need to make him grow. Kawaki, they need to make him grow. Like, like I don't know where they're going after this, bruh. Like with the okay. But All right. but you see the stage where it's at now. It's like Naruto <laughs> is not the same Naruto as we know, even though he still has the sage shit. But like. Obviously, he's not gonna have the same amount of chakra, blah blah blah. Like, tch. I don't know what they're gonna do with all the tailed beasts anymore, <laughs> as far as Boruto is concerned, as a whole. But listen, but that's the I, story. That, that, that is my beef. I that cannot beef. believe this man really ranted about this shit for the amount of time he did. That was actually really entertaining and funny as hell. And out of that, I literally just want to reiterate that number one, Kai has not watched any Naruto. Number two, I now recall a time when we were both still in school and I tried to convince this dude to watch that shit to get into it and he absolutely refused. You see, the same like, way I tried to get you to watch Kogias. No, no! Kogias is fire though. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold we on. We haven't hold on, finished hold on, hold on. it, though. Yeah, see, see, see. 
see i have finally have a fucking witness to defend me because brandon oh, we're missing what did i too. say yes what did i say when we watched season one all together me you jared and dad that's we're like we have to yeah we, that's primarily the reason why we haven't finished it <laughs> exactly this guy yo this man kai is out here trying to throw me under every bus saying like i'm purposefully not interested not trying to watch it not this bro we're, ta we're talking about me trying to put you onto a show six years ago <laughs> yo but uh, dude even then i told you i str every single time i was not never bullshitting i was like yo i i own it for a reason i am going to see it i just don't know when and then finally the last time we all when i was over there with them it was the three brothers and papa ooch and was around the freaking couch we, we binged it the whole weekend the Le legit because i that's how we had to have done it unfortunately it has it, it's been that long since we haven't been able to pick that shit back up so we could freaking watch it again so i mean that could be something we do when i'm over there for for christmas but let, we'll see how long that shit lasts because if you already know how that's gonna go brand I, I guarantee you we're going to freaking lawrence house um i guarantee you i guarantee you so and if that happens good game <laughs> unless yo unless, oh, yes. unless matter of fact unless i bring it with me because i got it on dvd Wait, or some what? shit so the discs because he's gotta have a fucking dvd player Wait, in for that, what in it to watch code geass <laughs> wait but isn't it on like netflix or some shit oh no it's not funimation oh, oh yeah yeah. So we... like, yeah that's how we watched it before oh yeah but, yeah, yeah you're right right, right but yeah right, honestly yeah, when true, it comes true. to code geass i would have watched that shit myself especially we were like we binged the fuck out of it i would have watched it myself like within that week but i kind of held myself <laughs> yeah see and that's the thing i i literally could have done the same but i was like nah because we all were watch it together so I figured, all right, we'll finish it together then too. Point blank. Yeah, I normally but, don't do that, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, he, he normally doesn't. An, he he goes off. Yeah, no, he 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 he. This man, he 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 won't listen to my recommendations. But then when he fucking finds it on his own or he hears it from whoever the fuck, I feel like, he's like I'm the best oh, yeah, anime that. finder in the world. I'm not gonna cap. Trash. No, <laughs> no, you're not. All I need, no, no, no. all I need is the the picture and a description, and I will read did, it. Kai, did I not? And did I, I will, literally not say this? And I will watch the first episode, and if it's trash, it is fucking trash. Did, Kai, did I not say this on fucking? Full I can power? literally, I can literally, bro. Like, I have like a at least a nine out of ten rating, bro. Like, yo, <laughs> yo. yo. You're hearing it from the horse's mouth right now, guys. I'm dead <laughs> ass, bro. Like, if you need an anime rec recommendation and you want my opinion, bro, just just come to the door and I'll answer that shit. <laughs> I give you a good rating if it's good enough. Shit. No, no, no. You the, the, maybe for some, but not all. No, a lot. Your bias, no, 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 no. You're biased as <laughs> fuck, and it what? hurts How? for the wrong reasons. <laughs> no, because. Dude, no, no, no. You have criteria. Don't lie to these people on my phone. Okay. okay. <laughs> you have criteria that is so ridiculous that it's like you, you, you will rule out any classics. You disrespect anything oh. that is even slightly old. Okay. Oh, oh the only, God. your only exception. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not lying. Your only exception is Dragon Ball Z. Your other exceptions are Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon and anything around that time that you might have watched. But say I give you Yu Yu Hakusho. Have you seen that shit? No. No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> but you haven't gone back to go watch it, and that's a classic. I haven't even finished it myself, admittedly, but I've seen enough of it yeah, to see, be like, that it, shit is fine. Listen, listen, listen. I, my first, like, I'll give you a couple standards, right? So when I look into the anime, it is the description, the anime title, like the anime name or whatever, right? Then it's the logo of the picture. Or are you whatever. hearing this? Then, Yo, God, then at you, this point, this? W once I click on episode one after I read the description, whether it's good or not, we'll get like good enough to me, like or it sounds interesting enough, I'll say. Then 
I will click on episode one, right? Then then I will see the animation. If it is dog shit, I'm not watching it. If it's <laughs> if it's acceptable, then I will continue watching the episode. If the episode is not interesting <laughs> enough, and like it doesn't intrigue me slash the storyline of where it's taking place, then I will disregard episode two most likely. Kai. But but if it leads me along the way to episode two, then then the progression could catch me off guard and make me continue watching it. Otherwise, Ooh. I will not watch it anymore. That is Kai. that that is that is my guidelines. That that is literally. 2.0 brother Uch Kai. ways <laughs> Kai. to finding good anime <laughs> to, to finding acceptable <laughs> anime brother brother come on Kai <laughs> <laughs> bro that is that is the easiest no, way no, no, to no. find these animes bro that that is no done? no I uh, I'm not done because that is the, that is the X and O's to finding good <laughs> anime brother <laughs> I'm what? telling you the X's and O's. That is the because e- instead of wasting your time watching a full ass fucking season, binge watching a shit show. Like I'm not doing that. <laughs> I might as well just exit out the first episode or two. <laughs> Dead ass. Kai. But I'm this <laughs> kid. This kid just explained how he that that is exactly how he watches and finds his fucking anime. And you want to know? why i'm telling you right now this this dude is so full of shit right now with <laughs> you need a good you need a good recommendation i got let me tell you something this fucking guy doesn't even realize half the time when he's watching a harem and he's like yo but this this dude did ultra instinct like what do you mean like it's this it's it's, 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 it's god like i'm like he is watching some magical girl shit like in, in, some, <laughs> in some in some fucking uh uh in, in another world like he's literally watching isekai type shit yeah and, Jared and, and he <laughs> and he's like and, and i'm watching he's like he's like oh yeah yo this show you know, it's pretty good it's freaking godlike you know what i'm saying the, the main character yo you got power power up you know it's kind of like ultra instinct like oh and right and i'm like okay <laughs> i'm dumb enough to fucking listen to this guy who doesn't listen to my own fucking recommendations that are actually good and i'm sitting through this and i'm like what the fuck is he watching this shit for because it's like a whole roster of females one male bro half <laughs> of those animes be godlike though you see what yo we're done this episode <laughs> <laughs> this shit this shit's done i'm this shit's telling done. you bro this shit is done. i got this y'all is- on any anime recommendation just let me know in advance i'll take a look Dude. at it you feel me brother 2.0 Twitter handle this- lethal 4 VR. <laughs> you know, you can, you can find my Instagram too. You know, I don't even bro house 96. You, you feel me? Like, I don't know. Just just hit the man's you know. dude. I'm, I'm I'm telling you guys right now. This is the same kid who who denied every single attempt. I tried getting him onto berserk. You see berserk berserk is like okay to me because of the animation i don't fuck with certain anime <laughs> anime styles because it's just a turn off bro like i'm not i'm not i don't know like berserk is like somewhat acceptable but i'm not like i'm not all in. somewhat this guy says oh my god like i'm the not downplaying i'm not downplaying the story or nothing but as far as animation goes like that's not my cup of tea i will okay say. If you're talking about Crunchyroll, I'll give that to you because this shit was trash. But I'm talking the 97 anime and the movies on Netflix, which is which covers <laughs> the same amount of fucking story, which also reminder, I had that I put that had to put that shit on without even saying anything for you to just watch it. And this guy's eyes was glued to the motherfucking screen the entire goddamn time. I don't want to hear it. This dude is crazy. <laughs> His his recommendations are sus, and literally he won't he yo he yo he won't even listen to me off rip if I if I was be like like it, it is so rare nowadays for me to be like yo I heard of this this shit is good it's about this Bing Bong watch it and he and he'll literally be like okay eh, eh. he'll give me some <laughs> bullshit ass response and he won't watch it yo 
I'm, I'm not i'm not even gonna hold you the last time the last solid recommendation i didn't even have to pull teeth with this freaking kid was my hero academia that was the last one that i actually recommended I that on frame one he well no it was more like frame 16 because when i first <laughs> told him he was giving me the same like eh, whatever but thankfully that same day when i was telling him about it i had the first episode to show him and the rest is history he you know it's it's a instant classic and everybody loves fucking my hero academia so you know that shit is that shit is gonna be god like you see yeah. my hero even got some good character development man like everything everything's great about my hero yeah no like they have good screen time they have like light fillers here and there but i don't like pay attention to that when it happens you know not even barely like, not. yeah it's like barely Dude, filler at all their like, fillers they have are good. not fillers you know like i mean it's hard it's somewhat you can tell when it's like filler ish but most of the time they do good like they have a good uh you know spread out or whatever man you, you must be you, you must be shitting on you're hating on the fucking hero festival huh you don't like that shit huh the hero of it i don't really remember too much about it honestly heroes the, uh, na, na, hero, uh, that one the one they where they had to put on the 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 the, the freaking musical performance oh for yeah Ellie. no that shit was ass i knew it see oh my god you hear this guy <laughs> <laughs> that shit was sick i was waiting for that shit to end bro i remember reading that chapter and i was like i can't wait for this to fucking get animated Bruh. fuck anyway Kai, you got anything else you want to say? No, I think I'm good. <laughs> All right. Brandon, you already put your fucking handles out there, but you know. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this has been your latest and greatest episode of Full Power Podcast. We're going to have a guest next week, hopefully. So, so, uh, so much as they are, of course, are feeling better because they currently have COVID, unfortunately. But... Like I said, they're in their recovery and recouping stages. Um, so again, as always, leave your comments in the comment section on the YouTube version below. And of course, also respond to the Spotify because that's a thing now. You can definitely respond to polls. And hit us up in the Gmail, fullpowerpod at gmail.com with your topic, discussion, comments, questions, concerns. Uh, next week's going to be a good one because I wrote down exactly what I might want to talk about in addition to what i had already mentioned going uh talking about about gohan next week so i'm sure next week is gonna be uh oh, a very entertaining one for sure like all of these are so it's been your boys it's been your boy ooch we are out of here make sure you guys take care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked little right here on this podcast stay safe stay clean stay the hell inside i'll see y'all next time